What's poppin? We've come to the time where we've done all of the preparation, we've done all of the logos, we've built the structure, we've made the plan, we've done the finances, it's time to start building this app. After all this preparation work, it's time to start coding. And I think we're gonna start with the home page because that's, you know, the most important page of the app, obviously. But that's also gonna set the tone for the rest of the app. So we'll see what's possible to do in Flutter, we'll see what's possible to make, and then based on that maybe we'll adapt some of the other pages and make some changes according to what we can do on the front page. So let's see if we can get some speed code going of me calling this first part. We're probably gonna start it from a blank screen or like the Flutter default sample app and then we'll just take it from there. And hopefully we should be able to build a home page as well as the individual story view this weekend. It shouldn't take too long. Of course we're gonna get stuck at some parts, which always happens, but then you just have to work through it, Google, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, and then uh, just get through it. That's kind of what's fun about this. Like you get so many problems thrown at you that you just have to solve on the go. And I think that's what kind of keeps it uh, exciting. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of Googling, a lot of going to Flutter's official website and then copying what they do there. But at the same time, we'll probably learn something from that as well. So with that said, let's get to the time lapse, the speed code video. Let's see if we can get a nice song behind it and start playing. I started off by making the home page of the app since that's the most important part and that's what's gonna set the tone for the rest of the app and the style. It was quite straightforward to get it going, however I faced some problems with fitting all of the lists on the screen because essentially there's one vertical list and then there's a bunch of horizontal lists. And when I put the horizontal list within the vertical list, it just wanted to push it all the way down so I struggled to keep everything at the top of the screen. But then I figured out some uh, Flutter widgets and I googled, I did some YouTubing and I found uh, a solution to it. So basically I just wrapped everything within something that's called like a safety widget, which then prevents it from overflowing at the top or at the bottom and it makes the list view scrollable. So for example, you can scroll down on the vertical list view, but then you can also scroll the horizontal ones even if they're outside of the screen, which uh, solved this problem. This took maybe about a couple of hours to, to make. I probably spent the entire Saturday working on this. I moved on to the story app and this is essentially where you'll click on the story and then you'll get you'll get moved to the particular story where you can see the details the author the tags etc maybe now you're already starting to figure out what kind of app this is but I'll probably make another video in the future where I explain this in more detail this one was quite simple straightforward relatively uh, easy compared to the front page since there's not a bunch of lists going in different directions But I did struggle a bit with the buttons at the bottom because uh, they took up different amounts of space depending on how much text was in them
Okay, so here we are a weekend later uh, on the Sunday. We've built the logic, we've made the app bar at the bottom. We have, you know, the different categories which are available right now. Obviously, this will be more in the future. And we have a bunch of different lists that, you know, they're kind of horizontal, but they go diagonally as well. So you can swipe all of these. And this is now, it's just test stories, but obviously this will be content later. And I'll, I'll probably add more lists on this homepage. Right now it's just featured favorites and then recommended. We'll probably add some like uh, categories or stuff like that further down. Um, but this is the homepage essentially. And right now what's possible is you can, for example, press one of these stories and it will take you to the individual story page. And now, right now there's not much else available, but it's quite, it's quite nice because it pulls this from the database. So basically this is not hard coded into the app. You can change this on the database and it will be updated on the app. So if we take test story four, for example, and test story two, it will just pull um, what it says on the, what's in the database, which makes it very, very easy and very simple to update the content of the app. So this is a good start. I think we're, I like the design of it, you know, quite clean, quite simple. Obviously it could be more aesthetic than it is right now, but I think like right now all the functions are working nicely. It's like, you know, the physics, the scroll physics, bouncing, uh, go, not going too fast. The, click works nicely with the animation of it popping up from the bottom so yeah I'm quite uh, I'm quite happy with this and then obviously further further down the road we'll make these clickable so you can click for example the fiction tag and it will take you to a list of all the fiction stories etc but uh, for now this is quite um, quite the improvement I think and I think this is a good start so now we're gonna move on to make the search page the login page and the category page and then obviously the app or the page where you'll be able to see all of the individual uh, stories in just a long list. And then after that, I think we'll move on to the actual play page where you'll be able to, you know, press play, pause, and actually play the actual content. And then lastly, I think we'll take the subscription part, but that will come after we've made the, uh, the beta version of the app because that's quite complicated and I don't want to deal with all the finance stuff from the get-go. Um, so this is where we're at right now. We can continue working on this over the next couple of weeks. And hopefully by mid-October we should have a fully functioning prototype or beta version of the app. So, see you then. I know we're acting stupid.